And this is the one the fans most want to win. After one game postponed due to the weather and another due to the pandemic, we finally welcome Maidstone United to Longmead Stadium. The Stones' first visit here for a league game since 2014. Maidstone don't have a good record against Tunbridge. Apart from County Cup competitions, Tunbridge are 10 without defeat against the Stones. Priorities at opposite ends of the table today for the two clubs. Tumbridge make two changes from the Torquay win. Ibrahim Olatadi's late winner earns him a start. Adam Coombs makes his full debut. Tommy Wood drops to the bench. Craig Brian Barrett unavailable. Fielding, Loft and Smith. Joseph all return to the squad. For Maidstone, it's one change from their 4-0 win against Dartford in the last game 15 days ago. Fowler coming in for McGlashan. I think the man to watch for Maidstone today could well be Spanish winger Luque. 11 goals for him this season. Huge crowd, 1,600 at Longmead today, the highest of the season so far. That's down the line, that's Barham and Sam Corn, but the assistant has waved for a foul. Referee wave play on, now Parkinson clips uh, Phillips on the edge of the box, so it'll be an early free kick for Maidstone. Luke might fancy it, runs over it, it's the left foot of Booty. That wasn't going to trouble anybody, too high and wide. Tom Hadler against his former side. Two lone spells with the Angels in 2014 for him. That's Coombs. Finds Turner a bit of space left-hand side. Olatati to the middle if he can find him. He goes for goal, Turner. Just wide. Good first effort for Tunbridge. Throw cut out by Parkinson up towards Coombs. Turner now finds Olatati. Back to goal, but he's got Turner making a run if he can find him. And he can, he plays the ball through to him. Well, Hadler does well to come to the edge of his box to collect that one off the feet of Joe Turner. And the referee is now blown for a free kick. Seeming there to be an aerial challenge by uh, O'Sullivan on Hoyt. So the free kick comes in from Booty. Two players, I think, went for the same ball there. Olatardi clears the ball away for Tunbridge. There's O'Sullivan playing that one forward. It's Coombs. It's Lovett in the centre of the park. Rob to possession, gets it back, and a foul goes in, possibly on Lovett, no, not given. Phillips the man, but uh, the referee waves play on. It's Luque on the left hand side. A few players available, it lays it off. It comes to Phillips, round about the penalty spot. And to be fair, that is a lovely strike, and Maidstone take the lead. 18 minutes in, it's the visitors which go in front first. With Michael Phillips with a goal on 18 minutes. But was there a foul in the build-up? Well, no, according to the referee, and that's the end of the matter. But let's not take it away. That was a lovely strike from Phillips. No keeper would have stopped that. Parkinson. Well, has got Ellil around him, and Ellil comes away with the ball, perhaps... Uh, a foul, and referee uh, waving play on, and now Jenkins goes down, and that's a foul going in there by Ella. That's definitely going to be a free kick. All players come together. Yellow card for the uh, Maidstone United defender, Joello. Early action from the referee, ran across, waved the yellow. That's all that's needed, and play will continue. Let's just hope Parkinson's okay. Just receiving a bit of treatment. Free kick, though, to Tunbridge, taken by Tom Beer. And Maidstone clear the ball away. Patterson's ball in, headed away by Tunbridge. He'll come back in, a long-range shot from Phillips. It was wide, but worth a go. This is Patterson. Gets around his man, gets the cross in. Well defended. Hoyt could still try and get the ball into the area. It's floated in and high into the stand. Mates in a one possession back there. Comes over to Luque on the left hand side. He's got Barham in the middle if he can find him. Could well be marked. This is Barham now back to goal. Few players to beat. It's Phillips. Lays it off to Patterson. Sam Corn's going to, well, try and fire one in. Fire's not quite the right word. And only just wide of Johnny Henley's post, but I think Henley will say he knew that was wide from the moment it left Corn's boot. Clearance from Henley. Ella does well to win. It goes back in there from Tunbridge. L heads it back, and it could be a chance for Turner if he can get on the end of that one, but good keeping from Hadler to come out of his goal to make that one safe for Maidstone. 
It brings the first half to an end. It might be strange for the uh, Tunbridge players to be attacking the end without any of their supporters in, in the first half. And I wonder if that was a factor, but uh, they'll need to improve in the second half. Long one from Maidstone. There's Sullivan winning the header. That's Parkinson. Little flick on there, Tom Beer. And Beer with on four. This is a chance now for Coombs on his first half for Tunbridge. Can Coombs, oh, he'll be disappointed with that one. First minute of the second half. What a great start to the second half that would have been. But Coombs would have, he should have done better. Straight at Tom Handler without really any conviction in that shot. And that was Tunbridge's best chance so far. It's cut out by Tunbridge. Bit of a chase on here between uh, Brown and Olatardi. Got Coombs in the middle, thing, find him, almost finds him. Cut out by Joel, that's going to be a corner. Improved performance from Tunbridge in this second half. Yeah, a real challenge there between Ellel and Coombs. And they play the ball forward there. Lukey on the end of it, referee is stopped due to the head injury. And the referee waves on uh, some treatment. This is Hoyt. Right hand side. Booty into Patterson. Taken well by Henley. Is there an equaliser in this match for Tunbridge? They're improved in this second half. It's played down the line. It's going to go out of play. Oh, great play there by Adam Coombs. Did really well there. Was, certainly wasn't going to give up there. And wins himself a free kick. But really good determination from the new Tunbridge striker. So just like a corner, just a little closer to goal. Beer comes in with it. Punched away, though, by Hadler. Back in by Lovett. Ellel dealing with that as he's dealt with most things in this game. But will he be able to deal with this one? It's a chance. He does deal with it. Gets the tackle in. As Jenkins was going forward. And Beer's corner. It's Turner. Can go out of play over on that far side. And it's a corner. Well, I think the Maidstone player was convinced that that would have been a goal kick. Otherwise, he'd have cleared that one away, wouldn't he? But anyway, here comes the corner from Tom Beer. Danger on looking for Parkinson almost there. Nothing coming of that for Tunbridge, sadly. Time is ticking away for them. That's the substitute Tommy Wood there. Two new subs on. Challenge in the middle of the park there. And it's corn on beer and be a free kick at least here's corner and that one's almost there Tommy Wood with his header at the near post not quite on target O'Sullivan now for Tunbridge time and chances running out this is Wood. Embry's making a run forward. It's Jenkins on the right-hand side. Nice ball in, Wood almost there. Hadler confidently takes. Just needed a touch from the summer striker and that would have been 1-1. It's a frustrating second half. Chances being created. They're not being converted. Here's Turner. Does very well to create a little bit of space to get it out wide to the right-hand side. Jenkins ball in, Parkinson's header. Not on target. Getting closer and closer to this being a Maidstone win. It's booty, but Love it does well there to win that ball in midfield. Chance for Tunbridge, got three players up. Turner on the left hand side, he finds Joe Turner. What can Turner do with this? Can he play the ball in? Goes back to Adam Love it. Defending going in there from uh, Korn, or from uh, Gavin Hoyt rather. And it goes out of play, it's a Tunbridge corner. And he goes from Beer from the left-hand side. Hadler gets that one away. On the edge of the box there is Embry. Embry with a chance. It's a crowded area. Only just wide. And it needed a deflection to take it wide as well. Headed away at the near post. Can Beer get that one back? Start another attack for Tunbridge. Maybe. This is Jake Embry. Gets his former side. Takes a deflection. But it didn't wrong foot Hadler enough. He did start diving to his right, then realised that he'd taken a deflection, dived to his left, kept it out. 
And here comes the throw. All tumbage this second half. Overhead kick. It could be a chance to crowded area. What's going to happen here? Adam Lovett. Turn it right ball to his left-hand side. Lovett. Well defended. But it does come to Tom Beer on the, uh, in the midfield. Chance now for Tumbridge. It'll dink ball in from Tommy Wood. And Tom Hadler takes. And the more and more these chances go, the more and more you think time is going to be up. Can't be long now. And there is the full-time whistle. It's a first league win in 11 games for Maidstone against Tunbridge. But there's enough there to suggest that next Sunday's game but between the two sides at the Gallagher Stadium will be one that Tunbridge fans will want to win even more. It's a 1-0 win for the Stones.